As we go through the next three weeks, we're going to continue to break down all of the variables in the anatomy of a stride in order to give you a more advanced understanding of exactly where technique flaws exist and how to eliminate them to become a better runner. Week six will cover the running pose and how to prevent injuries. If you recall, to prevent injuries, you must have an optimal landing pattern with minimal time on support that passes efficiently through the running pose. This week, we'll take a deeper look at the different foot strike patterns and how they can help or hurt your running. You'll learn all about the heel strike, the most common landing pattern today, as well as how shoes influence this landing pattern and why it's a constant cause of injury. You'll learn about the midfoot strike and how there's confusion over the definition of what the midfoot actually is. Also, you'll learn why it's still not the optimal landing pattern. Finally, you'll learn about the forefoot strike and why it's the most optimal landing pattern for getting to the running pose on time. The new drills and exercise this week are body weight perception and pose, foot tapping, and change of support. These drills are all about enhancing your feeling of the running pose and will help you better identify if you're hitting that position on time and in the right body alignment. This week, as you go forward, when setting out to modify your running technique, you will feel considerable soreness in the calf muscles because they haven't been accustomed to this new landing pattern. Keep with the daily routine and by the end of the program, your body will be fully adjusted.